Well, swing of summer, let's get in with some new tech, especially the new Apple iPhone 15. Ooh, the new... You've got an Apple, right? Yeah, I do. Do, do you know... Uh, what generation are you? 12. 12? I think it's... You bought yours during COVID, 12, right? 12, yeah. Do you feel the need to upgrade every year? You're definitely not that Definitely person, right? not. Yeah. Like, cause I'm a practical lady. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's got a... Like, before the 12, do you know what I had? Six? <laughs> exactly. The six, hey. The six S. <laughs> Technically. Jeez, okay, so you're definitely Which not... Just cutting edge technology at the time, I you're believe. You're definitely not that target market there, but... No, uh, because it's like... Because because what incremental improvements, unless... You, you'll you see the the enhancements, unless you're a fan, boy, girl, mm. person. Um, there's not that much incremental improvement. Yeah. Like, your phone's your phone. Exactly. I would say with each new announced iPhone... There's just getting less and less fanfare. Mm, I think so too. Although I'm telling you what, based on the YouTube vids for the the screenings of new Apple products, that that's not going on. Like that's not going down at all. So and the, maybe the new colors, right? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I care about. The Apparently, Apple... I saw. Sorry, I saw Laura DIY saying, "Why can't we get the cute colors for like the the high level?" Um, you know, the high level the, iPhone, the high level model. Since we're not colors such a big deal. Don't doesn't everyone put a case on their damn phone? Like you can modify your like I don't understand why a stock color is a big deal. Anyway, I I personally don't. Person, iPhone fifteen personalization. iPhone bro. fifteen. All right, there are a whole host of features, but it's actually headlined by the change to USB C. Yes. Wow, cutting edge tech. I think not. I have a bloody <laughs> Android Samsung that's worth one fifth of your iPhone that had USB C seven years ago. Maybe I'm making that up. But all is to say that this is not cutting edge tech, and they're parading it like it's a big deal or they've done something really big. R.I.P. Cash Cow. That's what I'm thinking it is. It's a bit, they're a bit late to the party on the whole. Well, they're very late to the party. But the thing is, you know, the reason that they uh, have to do, they've they've been forced by the European Union. They went, wah, wah, wah. Well, by 2024. We don't like it. Yeah, the European Union said that. Italian (laughs) hand. But but is that also a bit trying to be French? I don't know. Yeah. (laughs) So basically, no, if you don't have USB-C for charging before the end of 2024, you can't import into Europe. So they got forced. Meaning that if they, yeah, mm. if, if they didn't comply... Because it'd be Samsung, right? Otherwise, well, that's the major... The, all, well, the, USB-C is the major port. I mean, look, that that I've, that I've Pro is a USB-C. Like, it, it's a universal thing, right? Hmm. All Samsungs have it. The Apple laptops have it. So now they're going around parading like they've done something amazingly did, like big. By, wow, you can use your same, you know, charger for your... Uh, your MacBook Pro for your Apple? Bravo. Win I for mean, the marketing team. team. Jeez Louise. You got to know your value proposition, They're guys. They're earning their money. I'll give them that. Um, titanium finish? Titanium? Who likes titanium? For the really See, Pro Max? <laughs> oh, my God. That's <laughs> terrible. Well, titanium is lighter, so that's it. The new pastel colors. But you're right. I mean, every year you get a bump in megapixel. Uh, but and time and time again, the iterations are getting less and less, right? Yes. Like, do you feel compelled to upgrade now? No. Not really, right? Unless my phone skits it in planned obsolescence. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I mean, same here. Like, yeah. I have an iPhone 11. I got that four years ago. And, like, that, it's still valuable to me because, like, it's still working well. It still works, right? And, like, that was the first phone I ever bought with my own money, like, straight out. And you don't want to part with the case, right? Because it's a pretty boss case. From Japan. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So, I'm still... Not compelled, really, to think about upgrading to the next one. You know what I've always found interesting? Mm. Android versus iPhone, right? So have you guys... Al- so I've always been an Android. Apple, technically. Yeah, well, right. yeah okay. Yeah. Well, whatever. Apple versus Android, right? Yeah. So I've always been an Android. And the reason why is I buy my phones outright. And I just can't... Can I afford it? Of course I can't afford it. Come on, guys. But I just can't justify paying that much for a phone. Even though, if you think about it, your phone is like your most use tool right like if you divide it like how many hours there you easily outuse your phone versus anything but mathematically i can't compute that personally but the other thing as well is i've always had this picture in my mind that apple products they're beautiful the interface is great mm. i mean i swear by these macs and i was a pc guy for the longest of time until i actually so my thing is i'm actually scared to get an apple because i know that i won't go back but 
to that side, will you all? Well, it's true. That, that, that's just the me telling you. clutching of just you will not for, get me. For iPhone, were you always an iPhone or did you guys have Androids before that? No, man, Nokia. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Nokia's don't count. No, because Nokia's uh, are Androids now, right? What I did mean, I have? So I had, so it was the Nokia. Then I had a Blackberry because I uh, got it a hand-me-down from father. Yeah. Yes. Oh no, no, it's not, it's not a Blackberry. Sorry, it was the Nokia version of the Blackberry. Yeah. I felt so boss then. Um, yeah, those, how good was Snake? And Snake. then, yes, I feel like I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing a gap somewhere because I feel. Did you have that Apple iPhone six and then just? <laughs> no, I definitely. You had something before. I that, definitely right? had something before that. But hold on, I'm gonna throw it way back. Yeah. Way way back before Nokia. You know, Philips used to yeah, do. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It was a it was a cute little hey, green. Did any of you have the razors? Mask? No, no, no. I, I wanted had it. the razor. I wanted it so bad. You know what I wanted so bad? The BlackBerry. Oh, yeah. Those, when, when they had those QWERTY keyboards there, it was so boss. But then you go back and you think about the evolutions of phones and how it was a status symbol to begin with. You remember polyphonic ringtones when you had to like SMS? You remember Crazy Frog? Tell me you guys remember Crazy of Frog. Of course. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. When, you had to, when you had to get the code... On your Nokia's yeah, yeah, yeah. to get a ringtone, and how everyone was searching for free codes and websites, and how it's kind of evolved there. Now, nah, man, what you did, what I did, is you record, you get the the recording on your phone, and you set that as your ringtone. You record the song, and then <laughs> you're just standing by the speaker yeah. and so smart. play it. So yeah. smart. I think yeah, sixty Nokia sixty one ten. Something the like six, that. I mean, to me, it was the, the three. White one. It was a three series, right? And then you went to the. Si I, I I can't even remember where the numbers went off. Eighty two fifty. I'll just start. I'll just start rambling off you, some numbers. Going, uh, you, can't, you can't get more than ninety <laughs> nine. Anyway, uh, back to iPhone versus Android. I think it's an interesting point now where all these phones are so technologically capable of doing the same thing. Either you like the interface because some people just hate the way an Android like interface looks. Or how you, laggy you, it gets sometimes. You, it does get laggy. I'm going to give it to it. But like the but the latest Androids, like the latest Galaxies, there's so many. Like I'm just out of the phone world. OnePlus, what the hell. Like all these, there's these new phones as well out there as well that have Android. It's definitely more customizable. Uh, it To me, they're built a bit better than iPhones. That's, not, that's another reason I never got iPhones because I would, I would always drop my phone. And I ha heard horror stories about how like precious the screens off of iphones but mm. anyway mm. i think that you're right even even within the android community i think there's this inflection point where people still consume if you look at the major youtubers like the tech reviewers their numbers are still massive in terms of people looking at phone reviews but i think the phone purchasing rate or upgrade rate is definitely a little bit slower because why like if everything you have how much more megapixel can you possibly squeeze out like some of the phones that we have are just as good as like the cameras mm -hmm. that we have at the moment. So just, it almost doesn't make sense. You know what I will say though, and this is chucking a curveball. Mm. Mm -hmm. Google's marketing. Google yeah. or Apple? Google. Mm. Is, their phones? is convincing me that I really want that magic eraser. <laughs> well, the software is the new ground, right? Yeah, 100%. Who cares? What is this magic? Aisle? Dude, it's a bloody notch, man. Like... <laughs> Apple, I oh, will no, not, no, not the, no, but like, what, I, what I, I mean is the yeah. differentiation points now are the software, mm -hmm. are the software points, and they're showing it more and more mm -hmm. versus the hardware. Because if you get, set, I mean, you can only have certain apps, right? Apple apps on Apple, and Apple apps rather were like the, the, the benchmark, <laughs> the benchmark of like aesthetics and utility and all that sort of stuff. But mm. you have open source developers that are doing that mm. on Android. But I have a theory for a lot of because obviously if you think of market share, Apple's still by far and away the biggest, right? But not, but not, not like, by much. Not but like they but they're still the market right? leader, yeah. right? Yes. My theory is the the operating system itch. I think it's a very real thing, and we can use your dad as an example. He had Apple for a long time, right? Yes. And then he had this itch to change to it, and I'm telling you, you have this itch because you're saying technically there there would be a third party app that would do the work of the magic eraser on your iPhone, technically. But you're getting, they're, like, they're getting to a point where aesthetically the colors, the price point, et cetera, et cetera, they definitely give more hardware specs on an Android that people are Android curious or basically moving away from that. Especially, like what would the next iteration of an iPhone have to do so different that you'd be like, I have to buy it? 
I don't know, clean your clothes, use it as an iron. Like what, what do you think? Like think, think blue sky, because if it goes down the route of upgrading megapixel, you're going from 120 megahertz refresh rate. Cause that's, that's the geeky stuff to 200. You don't even, who knows? I'm blind. I can't even see in front of me. Like what is it? What does a refresh screen matter? But you know what I mean? Like th that increment. So what is it going to have to do different for you to say, I need it be a compass. No, I mean, you can get that in snap. At this point, it just really depends on when uh, my phone personally is just going to start kicking the bucket. Yeah. And it's, it's, but at that point, will you still, will you be Android curious? No, I you, don't. You, why not? I don't, though? I don't think I'm just I'm not I'm not there yet because it's still what? loyal in a sense. It's loyal, like the interface. It's it's like of what it, you're used to. What I'm used to. Mm. Um, there could be something there to be honest with. Is when it comes to like the generational change and just wanting to like change things. No, you up want to, you want to hundred percent. Well, it, to me, it's not the generational more. Is it? It's like hashtag like technolo technology curious, right? Yeah. But yeah, for yeah. example, have you heard of the Nothing Phone? So it's it's a it's an Android phone. It's a new phone, right? Um, it's really interesting. Like, uh, check it out. Put it check it out on YouTube. But just think of it as a, a a different type of Android phone. It's an Android phone, open source. It's called the Nothing Phone, and it's interesting that the CEO is very he's very young and he goes out in social media a lot, right? Mm. So he has his own YouTube channel for the Nothing Phone. Uh, they're like a boutique manufacturer. I'm waiting for the bloody like the, the there the, is no punchline. The the fact yeah. of the matter is. He made he did a reaction on the Apple phone, and he did, so as a CEO, so he's very progressive the way he's marketing. Yeah, he is the marketer, right? It's, it's racking up a lot of views, and he's actually he does reaction videos of tech reviewers reviewing his phone. And what he made a mention and an observation is yeah. Americans specifically are obsessed over their iPhone. They're brand loyal to like a fault yeah. where they can't think of any other phone in their purview. Well, that's where Apple's from the US, right? Yeah, it so is. Yeah, yeah. But like he, he's making America. A, a cultural point where there, there's almost it's Apple or nothing and you won't even question it, which is why if you see the market dominance. Next level patriotism. Yeah, there. It, it, it is yeah. true, right? But when you go to China, South Korea, Apple is not big there, right? Because mm, because yes. of, because of that element too. But yeah, I think there are other different countries there. But look, it's interesting. But the other thing that ticks me off is Apple is definitely going for like the the premium pr price point. They always have yeah. put themselves there, and I think I think a a new pricing strategy would be very much welcome for Apple, in my mind. But how? I don't like, know. I, I don't, don't know. And I just don't see how. I mean, like they have been pushing the whole trading in component yeah, where yeah. It, it does work. They do well for students, right? Yeah, it does work. But um, I just don't see that like happening when you have massed that much um, brand equity and, um, you know, pushing that threshold. Like maybe it will be interesting to see the uptake on certain models, certain... Mm. Um, the add-ons as well, because they're, pu they're pumping that out too, right? RIP lightning cable. Um, but yeah. Let's run with the lightning cable. Remember when we spoke about Qantas, we talked about brands that at certain points, they're just too big to fail, right? Mm. So even if they're theoretically not growing at the levels that they were, uh, because the overall phone market is maybe shrinking mm. in terms of people buying new phones or trading in new phones. I mean, just recently I heard that Apple recorded a massive drop in iPad sales. Shock horror. Who's buying an iPad? Like, Who's seriously? buying an iPad? Like, like that, that's just when a redundant got, product. When you've got your phablet like well, rocking they're, they're, it for real now. There's you cannibalization know? within yeah, the product yeah, yeah, sets, yeah. right? So that's that's a whole other story. But like, to me, a thing of Apple that I just don't like is just their capitalism of it. And if the- I thought you would love that. No, no, no. But like, <laughs> yeah, as a consumer, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> if I was working for them, maybe I would. But they would not have- adjusted to USB-C if the European Union didn't put their foot down. They wouldn't have. So they make it very difficult to to buy extra add-ons and stuff like that yeah. for consumers. And they're also shipped for such a premium expensive product. The add-ons that they give stock initially are very poor. Like people are reporting that the initial charging band that they yeah. give is a very slow one. Like you think you're spending close to two grand in Australia for a titanium iPad. The least you could do is give a a decent charging cable, right? So, so they're very that. stingy on it. It's the cult, maybe. And people are... People will, people will live and die by it, right? Where they're just Apple for life. Exactly. It's, um... They've, they've cultivated that following just over the years. And Apple is a concrete. cult. It is a cult. Apple's a definition of a cult. Yes. But you know what? People, people... People, people... People gonna cult. People, people gonna people Apple. <laughs> <laughs> people gonna Apple. <laughs> 
What I do, well, like, oh, just very quickly, what I what I miss is the, the Apple cult? campaigns. The oh, they still do it though. Oh, but it's not as like it's now. It's now focusing on what like cybersecurity and like yeah, and 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 health. And it's just what they have the Harry Styles thing. Then you like it. Like you you're talking about that. But that's like, not what they're pumping twenty four seven. Like remember when they were doing and they jerk it out doing with the color background. Did they really the, say jerk it the out. I, back to the, the song. iPod <laughs> iPod song. days. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. mates, what yeah, yeah. what a but time. But they had a they had a product. They had a product anyway, anyway anyway what's next we'll see how we'll see how that goes when the apple iphone goes live on september 22 apparently yeah. we'll see how it goes <laughs>